expect a bad conversation and then prepare a response for a bad reaction. You know, most people expect a bad response. They don't prepare a response for that. You know, what's your positive mood if the other, what's your positive move if the other side initially reacts very negatively? Your positive move or your, your coping move is going to be empathy. This gets us to the, uh, the application of empathy or tactical empathy. Um, empathy precedes assertion. To negotiate effectively, you have to be assertive. Uh, because if you're not, you're hoping that the other side guesses what you want. If you don't tell them what you want, if you don't convey the information of what your needs and wants are at some point in time, you're relying on them to be a mind reader, which most people do. And is actually, when you put it like that, is kind of dumb. So you have to be assertive. The problem with being assertive is if empathy doesn't precede it, then you come off as a jerk. You come off as a demanding ale, um, which then also runs counter against your goal. I mean, you're not uh, negotiating because you want to be perceived as a jerk because it's going to work against you. So how do you make your assertion more effective? Empathy. Demonstrating that you understand the other side's predicament. Not that you agree with it, not that you think it's accurate, not that you think it's fair. You understand it, and the only way to demonstrate you understand it is to articulate it.